This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at Mini GPT-4. So what is Mini GPT-4? I'll directly go to a demo and come back to what it is, right? So you can actually upload an image like this and then you can start chatting with Mini GPT-4. So for example, I've uploaded this image, okay? And I have asked, describe this image, okay? So it says that this image shows a man sitting in the snow with a dog next to him. The man has a ba beard and is wearing black jacket and jeans. The dog is a golden retriever with a brown coat and is looking up at the man. The snow is falling gently in the background. Okay, so it describes this image. So this model can describe images. What else can it do? So I say, write a poem based on the image okay then it writes a poem a man sits in the snow with a dog by his side his beard is long his eyes are bright he smiles at the dog who wags his tail with delight so it has written a beautiful poem over here okay so there is some kind of you know rhyming cold bold warmth wealth right some kind of rhyming morning light cold night the man and the dog sits in the snow until the morning light enjoying each other's company through the long cold night. So this is a nice poem, right? So it can also write a poem. So how does this model work? Okay. So how the model works is that, you know, your Im image input is given to a vision encoder. Okay. The vision encoder consists of a VIT, vision image transformer and Qformer. So this is based on a model called blip2 from Salesforce. Okay. So that model could take an image as an input, then you could actually chat with the image. So what is the additional thing which they have done over here? They have in, uh, introduced something called as a linear layer. Okay. And then this linear layer input is given to Vicuna. Vicuna is a large language model, which is based on Llama. Okay. So the idea is this. This linear layer is trainable, whereas this particular model is frozen, this Vicuna is also frozen. So just by introducing a trainable linear layer in this architecture, they could actually do a lot of things, right? Like, you know, website creation from handwritten crafts, okay? Uh, they could write stories, poems, like I just, how I showed this poem written by, you know, uh, the given images, providing solutions to problems shown in images, teaching users how to cook based on food photos, etc. Right? What they, why is this known as mini GPT-4? Because they say that this kind of a model shows capabilities or has capabilities which is similar to those exhibited by GPT-4 like detailed image description generation and website creation from handwritten drafts. Okay? That is what they are saying. Okay, what they are saying is GPT-4 has demonstrated extraordinary multimodal capabilities, directly generating websites from handwritten text, identifying humorous elements within images. Okay, these were not present in previous language models. Okay, they say this is because of utilization of a more advanced large language model. To examine this phenomenon, they created this mini GPT-4, which aligns a frozen visual encoder with the frozen language, uh, large language model Vicuna using just one projection layer, which is this layer. Okay, that is what is shown in this particular figure as well. Okay, given an image input, the human can chat with the image based on the image and, you know, can perform various tasks. So here, there are lots of examples given over here. Okay, uh, we design new mug shown in the image. Can you help us write an advertisement for this mugs? Okay, so it kind of explains over, uh, writes an advertisement. So here is a uh, mock-up, basically a written, uh, you know, text written and a photo of that. So based on this, can you create a website? So it actually creates this website. Okay, it gives the code for that. Okay, this was one of the key things in the GPT-4 demo, right? But here they could just achieve this with the Vicuna, a large language model and a blip2 uh, visual encoder. Even though they do not mention Blip2, but I saw in the paper and this architecture was similar to Blip2, the Qformer and VIT. Okay. Um, so I tried another demo also. Okay. So where I uploaded this particular image. 
right? And I say describe the image. The image shows three monkeys sitting on a bench with one monkey covering its eyes, one monkey covering its mouth, other monkey covering its ears. So they appear to be sitting in a row. It gives a beautiful description. Then I ask, what is the deeper meaning behind this image? Okay, so here they say that the three monkeys could represent the three wise monkeys from Japanese folklore uh, who said never reveal the truth, never betray a trust, never bear a grudge. Okay, the three monkeys could represent three stages of learning, hearing, speaking and understanding. The three monkeys could represent three aspects of human nature, the physical, emotional, intellectual. So you can have various interpretations to this image depending upon the viewer's perspective and experiences. Okay, so I tried another demo also where I uploaded a meme based on Apple. Okay, uh, this meme is about, you know, spending a lot of money on Apple, right? Um, so you have uh, this particular Thanos and uh, from the movie, you have this particular scene which this meme is about. So I just described this image. Here it says the image shows a person with a black background. It doesn't describe it properly, but it says that this image is a meme. Okay, um, so I can also ask like, what is behind this meme? What is the meaning? What is the meaning of this meme let's see it actually takes a lot of time for the demo uh, to get completed that was the reason why i was like um you know i have shown this i have already tried it out basically if you go to this uh, particular um, page they have given a demo over here which doesn't work most of the times okay even uh, they say that you please use alternate links so i tried with this alternate links yesterday it was not running today i could try it out Okay, um, so this is going to take, you know, a lot more time. Uh, let's see, uh, let's wait for it. So here is the explanation. The meme is a joke that is making a commentary on the idea that people who spend on money on Apple products are considered to be cool or trendy. Uh, the text of the meme is asking if the person who spends money on Apple products is doing it for the sake of being cool or they genuinely like to use the products. Uh, it's meant to add humorous. Okay. It is important that this meme is not to be taken seriously. It is simply a form of humor or satire. It is not intended to offend or belittle anyone who spends money on Apple products. It kind of gives an explanation. Okay. It took a long time for this particular generation. Okay. So I'll be putting the link of mini GPT-4. Uh, you can go and check out this demo. You can also read the paper. You can have a look at the code as well. I hope this video is useful for you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video.